Hi, we are going to do stoichiometry with aqueous solutions. Now students will get really good at stoichiometry, doing uh, grams to moles and then walking that bridge with the molar ratio, converting the mole back to gram. And then all of a sudden they get a question that has molarity in it. And I can feel the students hyperventilate because of that capital M, that big M, they don't know what to do with it. Here's where I want you to focus. Whenever you are given a problem where it gives you information about one compound, but it wants an answer for a different compound, you always think stoichiometry. I have to walk that bridge from mole to mole of the second compound. Okay, the key there is the molar ratio, moles. So when you see molarity, a capital M, you just take a deep breath and go, oh, no problem. All I have to do is bring this to moles bring it to moles. Just like if you're given a stoichiometry problem, grams, and you're like, great, I use molar mass, and you go from gram to mole. Same idea when you're given molarity, you go to moles, except instead of using molar mass, you're going to use volume. So let's work a problem together. Um, in this particular problem, we have an excess amount of sodium carbonate, um, and we have 75 mils of a 0 0.350 molar hydrochloric acid. So this automatically is our limiting reactant. Whatever is given in excess, you have plenty of that. The other reactant will determine the amount produced. It's the limiting reactant. The question is, how many grams of carbon dioxide gas will be produced? Okay, so in my head, I go, oh, they're giving me information about HCl, but they want the answer, the amount of carbon dioxide. I have to walk the bridge. I have to use the molar ratio that two moles of HCl produces one mole of CO2. Okay, so with that in my head, I know I need to find moles of HCl. First thing I always do is break out that capital M molarity into its units. That is 0 0.350 moles of HCl for every one liter. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I want to get moles all by itself. That means I've got to get rid of liters. There it is. They gave us 75 mils. So if I multiply this, now notice it's liters, so I have to bring that to liters. There are a thousand mils in one liter. I can go one, two, three. So that would be 0 0.075 liters. I have that many liters of this 0.35 molar. So liters, when we multiply, woohoo, it cancels out. And look what I have, moles of HCl. So now I can walk the bridge. I can go from moles of HCl to moles of CO2. Let's do it. I wanna get rid of moles of HCl, and notice how I use units. The units will tell you what to do. Always look at your units. We have two moles of HCl will produce one mole of CO2. Okay, let's pause and look at the units. Moles of HCl cancels, and now I have more CO2. Phew, we walked the bridge. I'm to my new compound now. Um, and they want to know grams. Easy, we use molar mass. I'm going, I'm going to put mole of CO2 in the denominator, and then grams of CO2. Let's do this quickly together. We've got one carbon is 12.01, two oxygens times 16. It's going to be 32 plus 12 gives us 44.01 grams for every one mole of CO2. Mole of CO2 will cancel. And look what we're left with, hooray! Grams of CO2. So to put this in your calculator, 0 0.350 times 0 0.075, um, oh, and there's a zero after that, sorry, 366, divided by two times 44.01, so we have 366, and the answer for this is 0 0.578 grams of CO2. Now, these aqueous stoichiometry questions can be asked a number of ways. So I'm just going to talk out a couple of things with you, but I want you to notice the crux of everything I tell you is this. It's that molar ratio. You just keep thinking, bring it to moles, bring it to moles, bring it to moles. How do I bring this to moles? 
So a couple of ways that problems can be asked. You could be given two aqueous solutions and you have to determine the amount produced. They're giving you a limiting reactant question. You'll have to do this twice. You'll bring the uh, concentration from moles to le per liter to just moles by multiplying by liters. So bring it to moles by multiplying by that volume, the liters. You do that for one compound and then you do the same thing for the second compound. And you'll simply figure out how much is produced. The smallest amount always comes from the limiting reactant. You can't make any more than the smallest amount. So there's one way. Another type of question that you'll be given is they will say, what volume do you need? How much do you need? So in that case, they would start with, hey, I want 50 grams of uh, sodium chloride. And so you'll start with your 50 grams of sodium chloride uh, bring it to moles, walk the bridge, and you find the moles of this uh, particular reactant, okay? So you find the moles, but they want to know volume. Well, they'll give you the molarity. Let me show you. Let's say that we come up with that we need three moles of HCl, okay? We need three moles of HCl, um, and they gave us the molarity is 0.350. Okay, if you want to know volume, you just use that molarity to get rid of moles and end with volume. You do it like this. I want to end with, or I want to get rid of moles, end with volume. Well, one liter has 0 0.350 moles of HCl. So again, if they ask you um, to produce an amount, how many mils do you need of a reactant? The crux is moles. Walk the bridge to moles. Once you have moles, use the molarity, and then you can find the volume. So check this out. You're going to have the point, or the moles cancel out, and it'll just be three divided by the 0.35, and that will give you, that will give you your liters right there. And it will be what close to like eight something, something like that. Um, so those are the types of questions you can be given. You can think your way through this. Just remember to go from one compound to another, you're using moles, that molar ratio. And so take advantage of the concentration to get to moles, then you can walk the bridge. Or find moles and then you divide by liters or you use concentration to find liters. The crux is moles. You can think your way through it as long as you remember, you've got to use the molar ratio. You can do this. Good luck and have fun. Thanks.